Hey guys, my name is Tony and today we will be working on my 2017 Ram 3500. Today we're going to be doing uh, some maintenance on the rear differential. Okay, this is underneath the truck. I got my uh, oil pan and we're looking at the differential here in the back. I bought a new gasket. Uh, got some... I'll be showing you everything you need for this project. So for this job, um, I went ahead and bought a new gasket. Uh, picked this up at the dealership. It was like 40 bucks. Um, over here, I actually bought this. Um, it connects on to here. We got a, a 7530, or 75. 590 um, gear oil and this just connects right onto here and we're going to pump it uh, into the differential like that and here I just picked up a couple little things some Loctite got some brake cleaner clean it all up okay guys I'm just going to use my Milwaukee impact um, I put a little this is a reducer down to a half inch to take the the plug out right here we got a torque wrench um, we're gonna set it to 20 uh, 20 foot pounds um, I actually had to purchase this uh, this is um, e10 it's a Torx I don't know. I, I, I've watched similar videos on how to uh, do this job. And for some reason, my differential has um, Torx bits. Um, so I had some from the past, but I couldn't find the, the, the size 10, E10. So for this job, I'm going to be using the uh, Torx bit E10. Okay, I'm starting to get some of the the bolts out now. And I'm putting them in this magnetic tray. Uh, see how it goes. Okay, guys, I just got it open. Uh, just a little backstory on this. Uh, I bought this truck with 70K um, with the mileage. And it's got about 90, 98 right now. So I don't really know exactly when the last time it was done. But uh, that's why we're doing it today. Okay, we got her opened up. I did get a little dust up on the top there. I'm trying to wipe that off. Um. Here is the old gasket. Let's see. It's um, pretty worn. And we're going with a new one. So, let me get this cleaned up. Okay, I got the differential, the cap here. I got it all cleaned up. I just kind of uh, scrubbed it with the steel wool and then sprayed it with brake cleaner just to get all the any residue off of the edges and then um, I'm gonna give it just a little wipe with a, a microfiber make sure there's no no little shavings or anything in there you can kind of see a little stuff there but I'm gonna wipe that out and then I'll give that um, the differential a little wipe and we'll start putting this thing back together Okay guys, I got this all cleaned up. I went ahead and cleaned that one up. I'm just gonna clean the, uh, the actual bolts. Try to get some of that thread locker off. Make sure I get a good connection. And then we have new thread locker that we're gonna apply. I used my hand first to make sure I didn't um, 
cross thread them and then I just kind of tighten them down with the Milwaukee and I'm going to take uh, the torque wrench and make sure they're all at um, 20 foot pounds uh, online it says 30 foot pounds for the specs uh, but uh, if you look on the forums for uh, Ram 3500 uh, a lot of them will tell you not to do it 30 foot pounds and that you should actually do it at about 20 foot pounds okay here we go got the torque wrench got it set for 20 foot pounds I got the 10 the E10 torque bit we got a six inch in extension you guys check it out there it goes there it goes There it goes. Boom. Hear the click? Okay. Just go back over this one. There it goes. Okay guys, we're back. Went and picked up uh, another couple bottles. I put three bottles in already. This will be the fourth. Um, it looks like online it's about 3.8 quarts. Uh, so I don't think it's gonna take the entire bottle. Okay, I just filled it up. I just threw the whole bottle in there. It's starting to drip out a little bit. So it tells me it's pretty full. I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Um, but it did take pretty much all four of those um, quarts. Uh, I'm going to throw the cap back on. And I'm done with it. So just a little recap. We changed the rear differential fluid. I used 75 weight 90. Valvoline full synthetic uh, gear oil. I torqued down the uh, These are E10 torques. I torqued them down to 20 foot-pounds uh, And that kind of wraps up this job. I purchased this truck at uh, 90 uh, or at 70 uh, K miles and Now we're at about um, 95 so, uh, I should be good to go for another 40, 50,000 miles at least before we have to change that again. Um, that'll do it for this video. We'll see you on the next one.